friends, just wanted to take a second to catch up with you. You know, I've been doing an extreme amount of traveling over the last year, uh, building my network marketing team, um, our network marketing team, and uh, been having a blast doing it. And, uh, you know, I, it's amazing how time flies. I, I, I've actually got a couple days at home right now, and I've been working on the phones and talking to leaders and talking to friends in the industry outside of my company. You know, just wanting to catch up with people. It's been so long since I had the time just to sit down and make some calls and uh, refresh some friendships. And uh, while I've been here, um, I've had a chance to reflect and gather my thoughts. Uh, it's amazing. It's been 10 years that I've been involved in network marketing and have traveled the world. And along the way, I've made some of the most incredible friendships and... I've uh, written some books, I've taken some courses on how to communicate, I mean just all kinds of crazy things have happened. And I've been asked time and time again about building a great network marketing business. It's the proverbial most often asked question. And uh, I decided that I was going to put together a new little video series, uh, The 10 Laws of Business Building in Network Marketing. And now these aren't the definitive laws that everybody has to ad adhere to, but I, I'll tell you this. I've traveled in over 30 countries. I've met millions of people in this industry, and I've had a chance to get close to some of the biggest leaders with some of the longest term communities. And, and it's amazing. I've found an identical set of laws, guiding principles, foundations, if you will, that the biggest teams in the world use to build their businesses. And uh, I've used them too. And so I'm going to create a generic video series right now. This is the first one where I'm going to review these 10 laws with everybody and give my thoughts on them. I'm going to try and keep every video to less than five minutes and uh, hope you get something out of it. So here's law number one. It's the art of consultation. Uh, in my network marketing life, I have always tried to create the right example about consultation. Um, the word consultation in itself means advice, getting advice from a trusted authority. Uh, if you've got a health condition, you consult with a doctor. If you've got a dental condition, you consult with a dentist. If you've got some legal matter in your life, you consult with a lawyer. And so in the same, when I take a look at the biggest network marketing communities in the world, there is a foundation that revolves around consultation. It's consultation with the upline. It's with nobody else other than that. Whenever there is any type of situation in your business or advice that you need, the communities that do the best overall in network marketing are the ones that have a strict adherence to a philosophy around consultation. You consult upline. Uh, you consult with the person in your upline or the people in your upline who have been where you want to go, who have had the success that you want to have because they've had the experiences. If, consult, if a consultation foundation is established properly in your business, you're going to know the one, two, or three people in your direct upline chain that you should be consulting with. If you're in the business with somebody who you were sponsored in by, who is as new as you are and has had no further success than you, then that's not the person you should be consulting with. You should be consulting with the person in your upline who has hit the appropriate leadership levels in your company or community that demonstrates that they've been around the block, that they know what they're doing. Typically, it's the people in your business, in your upline, that are in the comma checks, the thousands of dollars a month. Not the 1,000 level, but the three or the 4,000 level. And the rule is really simple. If you have anything to discuss in your business at all, where you want to discuss it with somebody else, and it's going to involve specifically advice or venting, if you're frust frustrated with something, if you're angry about something, if you're not happy with the way something is going, the only place that you should be allowed to go. Now, I said that specifically. I want to incite some criticism. The only place that you should be allowed to go is upline. To the person in your direct sponsorship chain 
who's reached the leadership level in your company and vis-a-vis -vis has the paycheck in your company that demonstrates that they've been around the block. You see, if you go outside of the consultation process and you go sideline, you're into a whole different world of trouble. If you bypass your upline structure and go right to the company, to the founders, to the corporate officers, then you're bypassing the consultation process. And if you do it, your team is going to do it. And if you don't follow this principle properly, you're never going to create the right structure and dynamic in your business. Look at the beautiful side if you follow the consultation philosophy properly. Let's say you've got a brand new person in your team and they're just getting used to network marketing. They get a call one day from somebody in another company and that person pitches them really hard in joining their business and, and shakes their belief a little bit. Well, if you have a strong foundation for consultation built into the dynamic of getting started with anybody new in your business, mm. the very first thing they're going to think when they get pitched by somebody else is, yeah, that sounds interesting. I have to consult with my upline. Will you talk to my upline? Imagine if they said that every time. And then when now that person, maybe he's making some money in the other company, he gets on the phone with the, the new person in the upline and immediately they're going to be complimentary. They're going to say, hey, this sounds like a great opportunity. But I love my upline. I consult on anything that's serious like this with my upline. Let me get them on the phone. Hey, if they're going to go, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, that's a different pitch, isn't it? So then they get on the phone with the upline and the, pro the person who's prospecting thinks, oh, they're getting somewhere. But they say the same thing over and over and over again. And then eventually it goes right up line to the point where nobody's moving. It's because a strong consultation foundation is there. Now on the other side of the coin, the fastest way to the result you're looking for is to take the path of least resistance. Anybody that's in your upline structure and is making money in your business is only gonna give you the advice that they have that serves you the best, that gets you where you wanna go the fastest because if you're making more money, then they're making more money. I hope that gives you a little bit of a philosophy in my network marketing community. Um, I try to make a very adamant stance about consultation. Consultation goes in the upline chain first. If somebody in your team is bypassing the upline chain and going right to the company or going sideline or going to one of the founders and bypassing the upline chain com completely, you've got a problem in your network marketing business. I hope this helps. I hope this was enough to get you to anticipate the second foundation and I'll get back with you really soon with the second foundation in a network marketing business and that's edification. Thanks a lot. Now we'll talk to you.